now maybe you might have seen this or might you might have faced this issue that your body animation is going differently your head animation is going differently they are both both disconnected uh, and they both are uh, deattached so in this lesson we will learn how we can fix this uh, issue this common issue how we can combine the head and body movement correctly so there are some concepts some tricks uh, so we will see in this lesson how we can uh, work with that so uh, i'm using uh, unreal engine 5.3 you can use 5.4 because method is same so let's see so first of all what we need to do is that we have to activate our metahuman plugin so we can go in the settings then we can go in the plugins and then search for metahuman make sure it is active so if it is not active you have to activate and then you have to restart your engine so mine is already active and so i don't need to activate it again then i will go to my content browser and i will make a new uh, folder called mt content you can make you can give any name and inside that folder i will right click go to metahuman animator and here i will use uh, i will create a capture source so i will go to the capture source here and i will create a capture source okay once the capture source is created you can give it any name and once you have renamed it i will just keep the same name i will just double click on it and then in the capture source type i will choose the live link face archive these are the files that you export from the live link application that we learned in our last lessons uh, and it's an iphone application so basically i will choose the live link face archives okay once it is done then i will choose the folder where these archives are stored so i will uh, click on these three dots here so once i will click on these three dots i will get the folder and this is the folder i want i will select this folder click on the select folder and once the folder is selected you can save and then you can close the uh, window so i will save it and i will close this window here now what i have to do in the same folder which i created i will just right click again here uh sorry i will go to the tools first first we have to go to the tools option on the top and do choose the capture manager there in the caption manager you will see the capture source that you have just created and there you will see all the videos that you have so the tut one is the calibration video and tut four is basically my performance so i will just select these two click on the add to queue and after that i will press on import all this is all we learned in the last lesson is nothing new everything is the same so now it has started to uh, it have started to uh, like import them so both of the video have been imported now i will close this window and i will go back to my content drawer now i will uh, right click here okay uh, and you can see that like the first of all everything you have to make sure that you have there now you have to right click you can go to the meta human animator and inside the meta human animator i will choose the meta human identity so i will choose the meta human identity to create my identity so based on that identity i can do the performance but first i need to have a uh identity basically so i will choose better human identity i can give any name so the name i will give is trial so i will just write trial here you can give any whatever name you want i will just give it a name called trial i will double click on it once you double click on it it will start loading the trackers so it will take a little time to load the tracker so don't worry about that so once it is done what you can do is that you can just dock it wherever you want and then after that you will just go to create components option from footage and uh in the footage we have to choose the calibrated footage which is the tut one okay because tut four is the performance i don't want to uh, four i want tut one because tut one is the calibration video so i will take the tut one just like what we did in the last lesson okay you will get the same interface here now here we will do the calibration first so our identity uh like will be created uh will create you know based on that so first of all i need a front view so i will just uh scrub over my timeline and find a good front view so this is a good front view here so i will go to promote frame click on it and i will create a promote frame it says current promotional frame will be 
set as front view and that's what exactly I want okay so I will press OK there now I can rename it to front view I can change it to front here okay once it is done so uh, my promotion my, my first uh, frame is ready now what I have to do I can uh, track markers active frame I can click on this one okay once this is done uh, actually you don't need to do that but optional I usually do it maybe you can uh, you can skip or if you want you can do that now I will activate my camera again the free roaming camera I will click on it so that I can scrub over again and I will go to left viewport now this is uh, the left view or like so or left profile I will promote the frame not left viewport left profile I mean now I will rename it to left okay and then I will activate the camera again and scrub over so that I can get my right profile. So once I have my right profile there, I will again promote the frame. After that, I will rename it to right. So this is uh, ready. Now, once this is ready, so what I can do, I can uh, activate the camera again and now i have to choose my body type so i will go to the body in the outliner and i will choose whatever body type i want i will choose this uh mid height body and i will click on meta human identity solve so this will create a uh, like uh, like like this will solve my better human identity then i will convert the mesh to meta human and choose auto rig meta human identity skeletal mesh plus full meta human so that I will have the head and the body both together so that I later on I can download it from the Unreal Engine uh, like meta human creator sorry bilateral meta human creator now make sure you have you are logged in and once you logged in it will start creating the meta human at the back end it will show you this option waiting for meta human back end okay so so uh whatever your computer speed is it will it's based on that so if it is faster it will create faster slower so it will get slower. now uh it's finite uh, like finalizing the current operation uh, almost we are there so now it's ready so i can go to meta human like creator and do changes and download and but i will skip that step because we have already uh, uh, did uh we have already done that in our last lesson so i will skip that uh, step and just download it now i will go to the face click on add pose and i will uh inside the add pose i will choose the add teeth once i have the add teeth i will go to the frame where i'm showing my teeth like suppose here so i will uh pause there and i will uh, promote the frame from here you can do from the bottom from here or from top so both are same and then i will press ok and you can see my teeth are uh being recognized which is fine okay after that once you are done you can click on fit teeth so once your fit teeth is done it will start fitting teeth position okay once it is done your meta human identity is now ready and you can start uh, uh and you can start the uh, like the performance process so i will prepare it for performance i will click it here so it will start training my meta human identity for performance processing so this will start uh the training now our meta human identity is ready for the performance i will save it and once it is saved, I will close this. And I will go to the content drawer. You can see that my uh, meta human identity is ready for performance. I will save this uh, all uh, with the control shift S. So control shift S or command shift S is basically to save everything, uh, save all. Now I will right click here and go back to meta human animation uh, animator. And I will choose this time uh, meta human performance because my identity is ready now i need my meta human performance so i will click on meta human performance i will rename it and i will write trial underscore performance and once it is done i will double click on it okay now here what i have to do on in the details panel on the right side i will choose the footage capture 
and I will choose my performance capture, which is the TUT4. So the TUT4 is the performance cap uh, video. I will choose that. And now in uh, the MetaHuman identity, I will choose my MetaHuman identity. But first, let's see what it Hello is. Hello, everyone. What's going on? Hello. Okay. So this is the sort of a video here, if you can see that. Now, once this is, uh, you will see the video, everything is fine. So what I will do here is that I will go to my MetaHuman identity. Okay. And inside the MetaHuman identity, I will choose my MetaHuman identity, which I just created. And uh, if you remember, we named it trial. So I will choose that. And it will show me the MetaHuman identity there. Now, from here, we don't have to change anything except for the head movement, but rest of the other stuff here, whatever we have here, all the settings, we will keep it as it is. Now, if you are, uh, when you choose your metahuman identity, what you need to do is that you just have to go to the head movement and in, in the head movement, you have to choose the control rig. Okay, so we will change the head movement to control rig. That's all what we need to do it here. So now we are ready to process. Okay, uh, if you will not choose control rig, you will have some issues uh, later on, but uh, make sure your head movement is set to control rig and let's zoom it, uh, like zoom it in. Okay, so once you are zoomed in, you can now start your process. So I will click on the process and I will click on the process now. Okay, so it will start processing. Okay, now it is zoomed it, uh, zoomed in a lot. So let me zoom zoom it out so we can see what's going on. So you can see that uh, it is uh, now on phase one. So it is completing the phase one uh, right now. So once my phase one is done, it will move to the phase two of performance. So you can uh, see that it's already, uh, we are almost there. And now our phase one is ended. Now the phase two will start and it will uh, record rest of the part. Okay, so we are almost there. Okay, so the phase two is over now. Now the last phase, the phase three, that is also done. Now our uh, performance is ready. So uh, you can play and check the performance. Okay, you can go to the play button here in your timeline. You can play this from here just to see how your performance has been recorded. Now the performance looks good. So uh, we are ready to export our animation uh, from our uh, the performance. So once this is done, what we need to do, we have to go to the export animation. But before going to the export animation, I will go to the content drawer and the content folder. I will create a new folder and I will call this folder animation animations okay so whatever animation i will export i will export in that folder so i will choose export animation i will choose the animations folder which i just created and the file uh, the first animation that we will export will be with the head movement so i will re uh, i will name it to uh, i will name it face anim uh, underscore with head movement hm short for head movement so i will uh I will export the first animation with the head movement. So I will save this one. Okay. So after saving it, I have to make sure the enable head movement is checked. By default, it is checked. So you have to make sure it is checked. Okay. So our head movement will also animate and uh, our facial expressions will be and uh, will be there as well. So you have to make sure your target skeletal or skeletal mesh is face archetype skeleton. Okay. So our head movement with the facial expression will exp export from here once we will press create. Okay, so I will just press create. And now I uh, it is already successfully uh, exported. Okay, 275 keyframes are there. Now I will export again. Now this time what I'm going to do in the animations folder, I will animate without the head movement. So the file name I will keep will be the face anim without HM, head movement. Okay. So in a moment, I will tell you why we are doing this. 
So in the enable head movement, I will make sure it is unchecked. Your skeleton uh, mesh will be the same face archetype skeleton. Okay. So I will just pray, uh, press create here. Okay. So done. We have two animations, one with the head movement, one without the head movement. But both of them have the facial expressions. The uh, Like the lip sync is already there for both of them. Now in the face animation with a uh, head movement, if I will double click on it, you can see that it is animating with the head movement. Okay, but the one without the head movement, only the facial expressions, the zip lip sync is working, but the head movement is not there. Okay, so one is with the head movement, one is without the head movement. Now, what we need to do now, what is the concept? First of all, we have to go to the, the content here. Okay, and here I can make a level sequence. Okay, but before doing, uh, like before making the level sequence, I will uh, drag and drop my meta human on the level. Okay, uh, reset the location of it so that it will be in the center. I will move it on the left side, and I will make a copy of this meta human and put it on the right side. So I need basically two meta humans. Okay, so. One will be with the head movement and one will be without the head movement. So that's why we have two meta humors here. And I will tell you in a bit, why do we do that? Why do we have one with head and one with without head? Okay. So here now I will right click, make a cinema, uh, like level sequence here. I will call this level sequence trial underscore SEQ. Okay. And I will save it all. And I will go inside the level sequence. And I will add both metahumans inside this level sequence. I will select both metahumans here. Okay. And I will go to plus track and add to the sequencer. And I will have both metahumans inside my uh, sequence. Now, I don't want their metahuman control rig because we will create our own control rig. So I will delete all the control rigs right now for the, for the time. Okay. Now, let's see what is the concept here. The first metahuman that I have this one, on this end metahuman, I will put my body animation, which I downloaded from ActorCore, okay? And on the face, I will put the face, uh, the face animation without the head movement, which we recorded from the iPhone, which we just exported right now a moment ago. Okay, but on this metahuman, what I don't want, I don't want the face animation. I want the body animation. Okay, but there is a catch. On this body animation, on this body animation, I will not put any body animation. On this body animation, I will put the a facial animation, the face animation, the one with the head movement. But how you can put, like, I, I know you will be confused, like how we can put a face animation on a body animation. So we'll see that, how you can put a face animation on a body, uh, like body animation. So first of all, we need to know a concept here. The concept is the face animation is basically your lip sync animation and your facial expression animation. The head animation the head movement is basically not the part of the face animation. So that's why when you put the face animation, okay, uh, with the head movement inside the face and the body animation inside the body, that's why your animation gets disconnected. They are, uh, your face gets detached from your body because the body, the head movement, the neck, both neck and the head is not the part of the face. It is the part of the body. So when you try to put the uh, the head and the neck animation on the face itself, it gets disconnected from the body. So keep in mind, the head animation, which is the neck, two necks and the head is not the part of face, it is the part of the body, okay? So what we do here is that, uh, in, in this concept, what we are going to do is that we will put the face animation on this metahuman and the head movement on the other uh, metahuman. And then later on, we will copy the head movement from the second um, metahuman and paste it on this first metahuman. So that's how our body animation uh, and the head animation, the face animation will not get disconnected. 
okay so let's see uh how we can do that i know that it it sounds a little bit confusing here but once we will do that it will become easier so i will go to the body animation of the first meta human and i have downloaded one of uh, like one animation uh, which is an ideal uh, body animation i will like uh, place this on this meta human okay and you can see that there is a idle animation on his body right now okay now what i'm going to do i will go to the face animation and in the animation, I will choose the face animation, but without the head movement, because I only need the uh, the facial expressions and the lip sync. I don't want the head movement, basically. Okay. So now let's increase the time uh, the timeline duration so we can see the full animation of the head. Okay. Once you are done, so if you will press this play button, you can see that. Uh, my head movement, uh, my uh, body is also animating, but at the same time, my head is also animating you can see that my head is also uh, like my face is also animating like his facial expression is working but there is no head movement there the one that we recorded is not there because we didn't uh, paste with the head movement we paste it without the head movement so only ex facial expression is on the face and body animation the idle body animation is on the body okay so that's what we were supposed to do and we are done now i will go to the second meta human now on this meta human i will go to the body animation now on the body animation i will put the face animation with the head movement but this is the body if i will go to the plus go to animation and try to find the face animation with uh, with head movement i cannot find it because this is a body not face so what i need to do how i can bring the face animation here I will go to the gear icon here, like the settings. And in the settings, I will choose allow incompatible skeletons. So if I'll click on that, I will be able to see all the animation, including the face animation. Now I can put the face animation on the body. Okay. So here, what I'm going to do is that I will select the face animation with head movement. Okay. So I need that one here. So if you cannot find it, you can simply go to search assets. Uh, I will type here here with and then I will get the face with uh, and with head movement. I will like select this one. Okay. So now it is pasted. Uh, sorry, it's not pasted. Let me go back here. So I will type here with. Okay. So what will happen is that I will get the face animation with head movement. So my body, uh, my head is will move and my body will move with the head. Okay, uh, but I think my time uh, timeline was at the end. That's why it is uh, it has been like pasted in the end. So what I need to do, I have to go again and paste it somewhere. Uh, like I have to paste it in the correct position. Okay, now it is pasted in the correct position. I will put this in front. Okay, now if you will see that my face is animating, also my body is now following the head okay so my uh so my body is my uh head is also animating and the body is following the head but from here what i want is that i want the head movement and i will copy that to this meta human so first of all what i'm going to do here is that i will and uh, i will collapse this one this one as well i will just go to the body of the first meta human on of this meta human okay and sorry i uh, just by mistake i press, uh, press this plus button i will right click it here and i will go to the bake to control rig and i will choose the meta human control rig so i will uh, create that okay so what i will do here is why i'm creating here so that i can copy the other uh like bo uh, like body animation and paste it here Okay, so that's why I'm baking it first. Once you have baked it, you can press the plus button and you can choose additive. So with the additive, you can add more animation to it. So it will be pasted over your existing animation. So that's why we made it additive. Okay, so this is what we want. We have what we want the additive. At this point, we want the additive. Okay, we are done. And now we will go to the a second meta human on the second meta human i will do the same thing go, go right click on the body back to control rig choose meta human uh control rig here same thing okay done 
But here, I don't want to make an additive here because I just want to copy uh, keyframes from here. So what I want, I want the, uh, the animation from both next joint and the head. So I will uh, take both neck, neck one, neck two, and the head, okay? So I will select uh, both necks from here, the neck one control, neck two control, and the head. Okay, once this is uh, selected, I will go to the uh, uh, like filter options and click on selected control control. So it will only show those which are selected. Otherwise, it will show you everything which is quite annoying. So now I'll expand all these uh, here. And what I need are the keyframes from rotation roll, rotation pitch and rotation yaw from all these three. Okay, so I will select uh, first uh, roll, pitch and yaw for the head controls. Okay, so the head control uh, pitch, roll, and yaw, I will select. Okay. So once this is selected, what I can do here is that uh, you have to make sure only these three has been, uh, have been selected. Now you can go to your neck uh, one control. Okay. After uh, head control, I will go to the neck one control and I will select these with the control shift. If you're using Mac, then command shift. Control shift, we allow you to select more than one. So I will select the same from the uh, con neck one. So I will go to the neck two, control shift, and I will select the row, roll pitch and yaw from the neck control two as well. Okay, so now they are selected. What I'm going to do is that, uh, make sure uh, the one that you don't want are deselected. This one I think is selected or not. So let me try to de uh, deselect it with the Alt key or Option key if using Mac. So, no, this is not selected. So it's all good. So it's all good. Uh, I don't know. I, I thought it was selected, but all good. I will right click. Now I will copy these keyframes which were selected. Okay. Now I will turn off my uh, filter. Okay. And then I will collapse it. Okay. I will uh, collapse it. Then uh, I will go to the body animation here. And uh, first of all, you have to make sure you are in front because last time I was not in front, so it's got pasted at the end. So you have to make sure you are in the front. Uh, so go to the first frame, and then once you are in the first frame, you can press Control V or Command V to paste the one that you copied. So it is all copied. Now it will follow the head movement uh, just like uh, it should do, okay? But first of all, what we need to do is that the original meta human control rig we baked, we will go to that meta human control rig and from there the original neck animation and head animation, uh, the, the keyframe for, for those we will delete. Okay, so I will select these uh, neck joints, okay, these two and also the head, I will select it here. So once they are selected, I will go to the original uh, baked uh, control rig. Okay, first of all, let's uh, like turn on the my filter so that it will only show that the one that is selected. So I will uh, ignore the additive one. I don't want to work on the additive ones. So I will. I have to work on the original uh, uh, meta human control rig which was baked. And from here, I will expand my neck. Uh, to neck one and head and here I will select the uh, rotation roll pitch and yo for all these three uh, one by one and then I will delete them so first for the head I will select all these keyframe okay so I will like delete them I don't want this okay and this is all I'm doing on the original uh, baked one the control rig now I will go to the neck control one do the same thing roll pitch and yo select all all the keyframe for those and delete. Now I will go to the last neck, which is the neck two. Same thing, roll, pitch, and yaw. Uh, you can select them and delete it. So now these original ones are deleted. So because I don't want the original one, I want the one that I pasted, these ones. So these are the ones that I pasted. And now I will turn off my filter. Okay. Now if I will play, so you can see that the facial expression is also working and the head is also working and the body is also working and nothing is deattached. So this is how you can combine the head and body animation. So now I don't need this uh, meta human because of our job is done for that meta human. I will click on it, delete it, and I will delete that from the timeline as well.
So uh, one more thing we can do is that I will go to the plus track and I will add the audio track here and I will choose the audio track from my last, uh, from the, like the, from my TUT4 uh, performance video. Okay, so I will choose this one. And I will play here. Hello everyone, what's going on? Hello. Okay, so this looks good. Now, so this is how you combine your head and body animation. So you can do your head any uh, head animation with a facial expression with a lip sync on the iPhone Live Link application. Body uh, animation you can download from Mixamo. You can download from ActorCore. You can if you have your own um, like a motion capture like device. Um, whether it is Mokopi or Rokoko or some other, and you can use the body animation from there. And then you can join two different animations together, one uh, head and one your body. So this is the method. So uh, I was using Internal Engine 5.3. So 5.4 is the same method, okay? Uh, but in the new method, maybe uh, in the new newer version, if uh, if there is any newer version, after 5.4, maybe the method might be different, but till now, this is the method. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now and don't forget to hit the bell icon. By the way, I have noticed that many of you are watching my videos without subscribing. So let's change that. Subscribe to my channel and be the part of the interactive community. Now, here's something really important I want to talk about. Please do not download my videos, just watch them online. When you download them, it messes up my watch time hours. And that's a bummer. I want to keep creating awesome videos, but it's demotivating when I lose out on those stats. Thanks a bunch for your support. You guys rock. Catch you all in the next video.